This is a program that uh, the World Bank has been supporting in, in sort of a limited capacity through some technical assistance. Um, but we think it has a lot of interesting uh, features for um, making social programs more inclusive. Just to begin very quickly, some of you may be familiar with this already, but Mission Convergence is, is a society. Um, it's been established through the Delhi government, founded a few years ago, founded in 2008. Um, with the expressed aim of making Delhi a more inclusive city, specifically with regard to the social programs that operate in the city. First, by helping integrate uh, the existing social security and welfare schemes and improving access to the most vulnerable. And secondly, to improve the delivery of those schemes in a, in a sort of more unified structure. And Delhi um, has more than 40 <laughs> different social programs spread across nine different departments. Many of the other uh, smaller cities uh, do not have this range of programs. And in fact, um, one of the, 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 the findings is that really, in terms of social programs, it's mostly, mostly the centrally sponsored schemes that are available, both in rural and urban environments. Right now, the mission is involved in, in a few activities, which I'll, which I'll summarize very briefly. Um, first, they have uh, attempted to undertake a vulnerability survey for all of Delhi to try to uh, identify those who are most vulnerable. Secondly, um, there is a sort of an organizational structure which has emerged whereby um, the mission and an interface between these different programs is actually facilitated through NGOs. And these NGOs are, are, are basically called gender resource uh, uh, councils. Third, um, there has been a focus on trying to improve service delivery at the, at the core level. Um, this is happening in a number of ways. One is through an attempt to integrate the administrative data system which is used across all these programs into one data set that can at least be shared uh, if, not, if not used uh, by, by each of the different agencies. Secondly, there's an attempt to develop a smart card system. Now, this is popular in a lot of programs and a lot of environments. Um, the attempt here, though, is to actually make a smart card which would work for all of the programs so that a beneficiary and entitlement holder would have a single card which would then get them access to all of the benefits that they would be entitled to without having to go uh, many different uh, uh, places. And finally, the mission does undertake some service delivery itself um, and is in fact the nodal agency for the RSBY, which is the health insurance uh, scheme for the, for the poorest, as well as the, the S SJSRY. Won't spend a lot of time on this, but it just summarizes this structure that I mentioned in the, in the previous slide. And at the bottom you see uh, what are called these GRC uh, agencies. These are in fact um, NGOs that function in, at the community level, which provide resources directly to the communities and the households, both in terms of what programs are available, how to apply for those programs. This is um, a survey that's now been ongoing for about two years now, uh, and it's a door-to-door -door survey of what's deemed to be all potential vulnerable households uh, in Delhi. And it uses those GRCs that we talked about to actually go door-to-door -door to go into um, notified, non-notified slums, uh, Jogi Jhumpri colonies, uh, resettlement colonies of different types, to actually interview households and collect data uh, on all of them. This is a, a, a very large undertaking and it's, and it's actually still in progress. Um, two phases of this have been completed and a third phase is sort of ongoing at the moment. Um, they have interviewed a little over nine lakh households. What the mission has proposed is in fact three sets of, of variables to help identify uh, vulnerable households. And these can be broken into basically residents. Where does one live? If you, if you live in a, uh, a non-notified colony, that's probably likely that, that, that you're a vulnerable member. Um, a class of, of variables to look at whether someone is socially uh, vulnerable. And this has to do with whether you have uh, a lot of dependents in the household, whether there are uh, aged dependents and people with disabilities and other, and, and other features noted here. And finally, and, and a lot of debate has surrounded this, um, whether or not one can use occupation as in fact a definition of vulnerability. As this moves forward, it does have the strong potential 
to be a unifying feature, you know, to provide a sort of a central registry of those who are vulnerable, which would then allow better integration across programs and better delivery uh, of those households, particularly if one brings in this notion of, a, of an e-card linked by, by the UID. So I've probably gone over, but just to, just to identify a few of the, the future challenges as this, as this mission and as this work goes forward, and we've highlighted a couple already. Um, how is it that vulnerability is measured? Is that, is that something that can be made concrete? And would it have some relevance uh, across the city and indeed maybe in other settings as well? One of the initial reasons for developing mission convergence was this notion of converging uh, the multiple programs that are out there, the 40 programs or so, into a core set of programs, which would be more accountable, which would have a greater impetus to deliver. Um, if, one, if one looks at the budget among these 40 programs, many, many, many are you know, down around uh, uh, you know, uh, 10, 20, 30 lakh uh, type programs. Very small. Uh, some of them are very boutique, depending on the ministry that you're dealing with. So, one could question, are these really effective vis-a-vis uh, -vis some of the larger programs? Um, so these are an open set of questions, but we, we certainly do think it represents an innovative approach, um, particularly in this social sphere of delivering social benefits, uh, as a way to begin to uh, be more responsive and be indeed more inclusive to those who are, to those who are vulnerable.